Hello beautiful souls, my name is Zoe and I am the singing farmer at Earth Song Farm and today I am down at the bottom of the garden near the ducks and near Pippin and Ebony who are making noises behind me there um, because today it is so gloriously hot so I thought I'd come down to the bottom of the garden to enjoy some quiet shade and have a, a nice lily. Now sadly, it doesn't really taste much. It's a coconut lolly and I should be able to taste something, but no, all I can sort of experience really is crunch, coolness and sweet. There's no flavour and uh, this is something that's happened to several of us in our family following our coronavirus um, illness that we've had. We have lost our sense of smell and taste. Uh, we have one person in the family who could still um, taste so I get that little person to check all the food that I'm cooking because it's very difficult to cook when you can't taste what you're putting in it. So the herbs and spices are just tasting like woody, woody leaves. And, and you can feel heat, but you can't actually feel the taste of chilli or anything like that, so, uh, or pepper. That's, that's quite disappointing. So anyway, that's, that's what we get to experience at the minute for the next um, few months, I think. I've been looking at it and it seems to be that it can last for quite a while. Anyway, so... Pippin. I can't, well, I can't see Pippin, I can see Ebony. See Ebony just there making a nice lot of noise. Pippin got a bit scared when I came down with the chair and fluttered away um, but I think he or she might come back. They're still not crowing properly so I don't know if they're fully boys but we've also not had any eggs so we still get to wait to see what they are. They might just be very quiet cockerels <laughs> which would be lucky for the neighbours if they are. So this week I have been looking at scheduling my time in order to get projects complete and finalised and <clears throat> also with the heat I've been scheduling my time to avoid the hottest part of the day for being outside and to plan to be out in the garden in the mornings and in the af late afternoons. Also with dog walks making sure that I've got the dog out uh, earlier in the day and planned shady walks with, um, with streams and ponds so that he could have a have a cool down most uh, a couple of times throughout the walk. So there were there were a few comments about Pippin and Ebony and I thought I'd pop down to show you how they're getting bigger. Um, <laughs> they are the funniest chickens. I really love spending time with them and they've gone and <laughs> they've gone and got themselves trapped under here there's like the whole garden I'm letting them roam around the garden but they've gone and found their pen they obviously feel safe and secure in it and they've come down to peck away munch on the clover and the grass under here um, so it's really lovely they're such, such sweet chickens Pippin! 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 Do you like to walk your toes in the grass? Does it make you feel so happy and jolly? Do you like to walk your toes in the grass? Does it make you feel like you're alive? Do you like to walk your toes in the grass? Does it make you feel alive? Do you like to walk your toes in the grass? Do you feel like you're alive? It's a lovely hot day today and I'm here at my damson tree um, checking it over, collecting what damsons we've got this year. Oops! <laughs> collecting what damsons we've got this year um, and seeing what's up with the tree really. So one of the things that people spot on a damson is these little sort of shimmery gems. They're very, they're like, they look like gooey golden honey sap that comes out of the damson. And uh, 
that's a sign of possibly an insect that's gone into the damson. It can also be the result of some damage to the damson. Um, and because if you can see here, this one has a slight indentation. So maybe it was rubbing on something. Uh, so the only way you know whether there's a little bug inside is really to cut it open and see inside. And there's usually a little pink grub inside the damson um, that's been nibbling away. Uh, they're not a problem. These little jelly things aren't a problem um, if there's only the, the goo on the outside. You can just eat the plums, whatever, but I always, I always cut them open now just to be sure. And, um, and also the damsons, you know, if the grub hasn't eaten much, if it's a small grub and it's nibbled just a tiny amount, I just open the damsons up and soak them and all the soil goes away and they're still edible. Um, but I haven't many this year because I trimmed the tree back at the wrong time of year and it's um, not produced enough flowers. So that is my mistake. I was a little bit late. The trick is to trim your tree in the autumn and not leave it till the spring too late because then you chop off all the flowers that are coming. So um, yes, if you want more fruit, you get to trim it at the right time. So I've been outside singing today in my garden, enjoying um, some time with my uh, plants and collecting some fruit, enjoying the damsons, getting some lovely juicy ones, um, checking that some of them have got these little um, gooey spots and finding those. I've got a, this one's quite a gooey one. That's got something stuck to it. There we go. That's quite a gooey spot. Um, so some of these aren't, aren't going to be very edible but I'll eat the ones that are nice and um, the damsons are lovely, they're like a really sweet juicy plum and, and this is um, this variety is Merryweather and it's been a really lovely variety it's got these big juicy damsons, they're huge um, and they're like really really sweet plums um, so yeah, just been singing, singing and gardening and enjoying this beautiful warm weather that we're having unseasonably warm weather for September. So I did have a song for um, performing today which was to do with being joyful, being in connection with my garden, being in connection with the trees and being just love. Love, connection and joy, that's what you bring to me. Love, connection and joy from my beautiful damson tree. Love, connection and joy, that's what you bring to me. Love, connection and joy from my beautiful damson tree.